Kingdom Kids, it's time for another adventure. Let's go! CC, it's story time. CC, it's story time! CC, always telling the stories. Pink hair and socks, she's never boring. Whiteboard with the orange tie. You need a recap? Derek is your guy. Oh, with a flow so cold. Everybody get ready for adventure mode. Heather with the crew that's so disruptive. Hey, what's that? Friendly interruption! Kingdom Kids, yeah, Kingdom Kids. Kingdom Kids, yeah, Kingdom Kids! Hey Kingdom Kids, I am so excited about today's adventure. It's going to teach us a lesson about character. What is character, you might ask? Well, character is a pattern of thoughts, acts, and feelings someone shows over time. Someone with good character believes they should make good choices that are honest, respectful, caring, and responsible. This lesson is also going to help us answer the great big question, which is, if no one's watching, should I still be nice? But before we do that, we need to have our recap. Take it away, Derek. The people worshiped false idols and the Philistines enslaved Israel. There was a woman who had a child and named the baby Samson. Samson grew to be very strong. When Samson was older, he met a Philistine woman named Delilah. The Philistine leaders came to Delilah and said, find out the secret to his strength we will pay you. So Delilah went to Samson and asked him what would take away his strength. But every time she asked, Samson would lie. Finally, Samson told Delilah, if you cut my hair, I will lose my strength. So while Samson was sleeping, Delilah went and shaved his head. When she woke him, his strength was gone and the Philistines overpowered Samson. He was sent to prison and they blinded him. However, slowly but surely, his hair started to grow back. One day, the Philistines had a feast and brought Samson in chains to laugh at him. Samson was set between two pillars. He cried out to God and asked him for his strength once more. Samson pushed with all his might on the pillars and the temple came tumbling down. Whoa, a blind man pushing down pillars? I bet they didn't see that one coming. Anyways, back to you, Cece. Wow, Samson went pretty long without cutting his hair. It must have been able to reach his toes. You know what? That almost reminds me of the time when we interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you this friendly interruption. Hopefully Joe will make you laugh with today's joke. Hey, Kingdom Kids! You ready to laugh? Cause I sure am. Okay. Now, why did the math book look so sad? <laughs> because it had so many problems! <laughs> Do you know what? I'm sure his jokes will be better with time. Hopefully. Take it away, Cece. Thanks for that joke, Joe. It was... Interesting. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for... Adventure Mode! There was a woman named Naomi who lived with her family in Judah, but there was not enough food there for them, so they moved to Moab. Naomi's husband died in Moab, and her sons married women named Ruth and Orpah. However, Naomi's sons died as well. Naomi decided to go home to Judah where there was food. So she told her daughter-in-laws, Ruth and Orpah, to go home. Orpah left, but Ruth stayed with Naomi, saying, Don't force me to leave you. Don't make me go home. Where you go, I go. And where you live, I'll live. Your people are my people. Your God is my God. And they went back to Judah. It was the harvesting season, and farmers would leave some of the grain on the ground for the poor and needy. So Ruth said to Naomi, Let me go to the fields and pick up the leftover grain. Ruth went to a field owned by a man named Boaz. Boaz saw how hardworking Ruth was and admired her. He told her to stay in his field and she would be taken care of. Boaz even ordered his servants to let her glean where there was plenty of grain on the ground and to pull some of their grain out and leave it for her. Naomi knew that Boaz was one of her relatives and saw how nice he was to Ruth. So Naomi told Ruth that Boaz would be a good husband to her. Ruth told Boaz that she would like to be his wife, and she married him. 
Boaz bought back the land that Naomi had lost when her husband had died, and he and Ruth had a baby boy. The baby was named Obed, and he would be the father of Jesse, who would be the father of King David. And that's what we learned on... Adventure Mode! Huh. Ruth was taking care of Naomi even though she wasn't really related to her. I mean, Orpah left when Naomi told her to and went back to her family. But Ruth stayed with Naomi and took care of her. She would get grain for her, make her meals, and traveled with her. Another trait of having good character is when you do the right thing whether or not someone is looking. Kind of like Ruth. So the answer to our great big question, if no one's watching, should I still be nice, is yes, of course. Well, Kingdom Kids, that's all for today's lesson. I'll see you next time. Bye!